We're starting in on problem three of the practice exam. Um, this is called O of 1 answer problems, which is supposed to be some fun way of saying short answer problems, but obviously, hopefully, all of the problems on the exam will take you O of 1 time to solve. Uh, because if they take you more than constant time to solve, it's unclear what it's scaling in. Uh, but anyway, it does say practice version only. I admit that some of these are not particularly short answer questions. It's my chance to prepare you for other elements of the exam. So uh, some of these are going to be way longer than I might ask on an actual exam. And they might be targeted at practice for you to do other things on the exam. Um, I'm not going to read through each of the problems right here because that won't make sense. But I am going to skim through the problem quick and tell you that I am not going to do practice versions of some of these. Uh, and that's because you've already got a fair bit of practice on some of these. So for example, I am not going to do a practice version of five very different examples of recurrences to illustrate the three cases of the master theorem, etc, etc. You've already got lots of practice on the master theorem. I really, really recommend that you solve this problem, that you think through the cases. I mean, what would I do for five very different examples of recurrences? Well, three of them are going to be the leaf dominated case and the root dominated case and the balance case. You certainly had better do at least one example of each of those. So probably the other two, uh, the other two I'm going to do two different ways, so different ways that the theorem is not applicable. And you know, what's an example of a way that the theorem is not applicable? Uh, well, for instance, one way that the theorem might not be applicable is because, well, here's, here's a, a nice one. Here's one. Uh, T of n is equal to uh, n. Well, that's kind of a trivial recurrence because it's not recursive. And the master theorem is not applicable because it's not recursive. Okay, uh, so that might be an example. That's a pretty trivial example. Uh, what else might you do? You might have two parameters in the recurrence. You might have, instead of the form where it's t of n equals a t of n over b plus f of n, maybe it's going to have two separate recursive calls on the right-hand side. Uh, maybe the, the, the base case is not constant. Maybe the base case is actually proportional to n, and so on and so on and so on. There are lots of cases you can, ways you can make the master theorem not apply. You should try some out. And it turns out we are going to work through at least briefly all the rest of the problems.